Hello, this is Tim Kamsa with TBC Action Coach of Indiana with our Business Spotlight series. The purpose is to interview local business owners and promote them through our social channels and email database, as well as provide them coaching. This is a free service we're doing because if every small business is strong, then the economy is strong. Today, I have the pleasure of talking with Chloe. Chloe, welcome. It's great to have you on the program today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward. Fantastic. Well, hey, let's start with uh, having you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Sure. So my name is Chloe Nagnos Pierce. I am the founder and principal of Argo Strategy. We are a marketing and public relations consultancy that serves clients on three continents. So we bring decades of experience helping businesses, nonprofits, and political campaigns scale um, by using digital media. So we've worked to develop campaigns and marketing strategies for everyone ranging from small to medium-sized businesses, Fortune 500 companies, and even presidential campaigns. So it's been really fun to um, work with just amazing clients, amazing campaigns, and amazing individuals. Um, of course, COVID-19 has made things a little bit difficult in the last year, um, but my family and I, we live here in central Indiana. And in um, spare time, enjoy renovating my 101-year-old um, historic home. So I've had, wow. have had a lot of time to do that during quarantine, along with working from home. So I'm not quite Joanna Gaines, but I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So um, tell us a little bit about how long have you um, been in this industry? So I've been involved in um, marketing digital media and political campaigns for about 10 years now. So my business started about five years ago. Um, I tell a great story on my personal website about how I kind of formed a consultancy by accident. I had some colleagues who reached out to me on LinkedIn. They needed a little bit of help getting ready for a political campaign that was about to launch here in central Indiana. Um, and I said, sure, I can help. So you never say no to, to helping folks that you know. So that's really just kind of how it started and spiraled from there. Began taking on clients left and right um, and left uh, full-time corporate America almost a year and a half ago um, to run my consultancy full-time. Wonderful. Well, congratulations on that. So tell us, who do you serve? Who's your best customer? We call that our target audience. Sure. So target audience is really anybody who is in that medium to large size company or maybe um, medium to large size nonprofit or someone who is looking to run for um, local state or national office, for example. Um, so I have a lot of experience in working uh, pretty much everywhere. I like to say that I'm a Jane of all trades, um, but I prefer working with folks who have a little bit more in terms of a marketing budget. Um, to spend when it comes to advertising, when it comes to really targeting voters, um, and really just trying to scale quickly and efficiently. So if you're if you're you've got that budget, and if you're looking to stay, scale, you know, really really fast, then you're my type of person that I'd want to talk to. Fantastic. So you mentioned uh, full time uh, just a little bit before COVID uh, happened. So what's been the greatest impact that COVID has had on your business? I think the biggest thing is definitely learning how to kind of coach clients through a remote or some type of virtual situation, um, even before COVID or even before, you know, leaving corporate America and being, um, you know, the CEO full time. Um, I had always been remote for any other type of uh, corporate position. So it really, you know, COVID wasn't really new to me, um, but just really working with clients and trying to explain like, hey, you know, we've always talked about beefing up your website, now's the time to do it. Or, hey, now's the time to really invest in digital advertising. I think that a lot of people who are more prone to wanting to work with traditional media like radio spots or television commercials on you know a local CBS or ABC affiliate now they understand why it's important to do digital advertising and why it's important to have a digital presence so as you know horrible and nasty as covid has been that's really helped my business um, and then you know really just trying to transfer you know the mom and pop store their mom and pop nonprofit and teach them um, you know how to build up that Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter presence um, has been a little bit of a learning curve, but kind of like what I had said, I think pretty much a year later, people kind of get it. So that's been very helpful. Wonderful. So what are one or two uh, pivots that you've had to make uh, to be able to make a difference during COVID and how, are the, how has that been working for you? 
Sure. So one thing, especially when COVID had just hit was, um, you know, pretty much every single restaurant, bar, nightclub had really just had to shut down, had to close their doors. Um, being a Greek American, my family owns a lot of restaurants in the Northern Indiana area. Um, I help, of course, with a lot of their marketing, with a lot of digital presences there. Um, and it's very hard to figure out how to have some type of local product and make it a little bit more regional or try to even make it a little bit more national. Um, so something that I have really challenged a lot of my clients with is, you know, if you are a local business provider or some type of local service provider, product provider, is figuring out a way to have some form of passive income, whether that's gift cards, um, you know, bottling up your salad dressing, your secret sauce, whatever that may be, and having some form of e-commerce um, flavor to that. Because of course, when you know everything shuts down, people want to support local, they want to support small businesses. Um, so even telling people, hey, if you've got local recipes that you're willing to share, put them in a cookbook you know, make it some type of digital download so that people can still feel connected. So really having to get creative with a lot of my clients is something that has paid off in the long run. And I'm so happy for the people that, you know, were able to make it through the pandemic. Um, but of course, I'm always trying to learn, always trying to get more creative. Um, and I think just, you know, trying to help people create that second or maybe third stream of income has been very beneficial. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. So here's an interesting question, Chloe. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes have you made along the way that you'd be willing to share to help other entrepreneurs learn from your experience? I think the big thing, and I think a lot of people will agree with me on this one, is not learning how to delegate faster. Mm -hmm. So I tend to be one of those people that I want to have my hands in everything. And I had to learn um, pretty much when COVID had hit that, hey, I can't handle the onboarding and the accounting and sending out emails and all of the social posts and everything that it takes to be behind the scenes as a business owner. Um, so as much as I love being behind the scenes and being forward facing, mm -hmm. um, I've had to hire <laughs> additional help um, when it comes to um, you know, working with different clients, doing a little bit more project management and even hiring, you know, an accountant when it hurt. So I think that's something no matter what season your business is in, when it hurts, that's when you probably need to hire. Um, so that frees up a little bit more of your time. So I would say that's probably one of the biggest mistakes I learned early on was that, you know, even though I think I'm superwoman, I'm really not. And I need to, you know, <laughs> delegate when needed. Yeah, that's a fantastic insight. It's probably the number one thing that I coach client, my clients on is, uh, is avoiding becoming our own bottleneck, right? So yes. if, if, if we're, we get stuck in our own way, because we want to have our hands involved in everything and we actually prevent our, our business from growing. So fantastic that you uh, picked that up so quickly and, and we're able to implement that. That's awesome. So Chloe, second, last question here. Um, I've, I'm going to have your contact information to be able to include in this video when we post it. But is there anything else that you'd like to make sure that the listeners know? Is there any type of offer that you're running or how can people learn more about ways you might be able to help them? Sure. So best way is by either emailing me directly or going to our website. So we're just Argo, A-R-G-O strategy.com. And my email, very simple, Chloe at Argo strategy.com. A big thing that I've been offering folks when it comes to a digital strategy or just figuring out how they can really scale in the digital world um, is offering, you know, 15 minutes, more than happy to chat with people on the phone um, or do a Zoom call free of charge. And then trying to figure out, you know, what the best course of action is in order to scale. So maybe that's sitting down, installing Google Analytics or any other type of analytics tool to tell them, hey, X, Y, and Z is working very well for you, A, B, and C, not so much. So I think a lot of business owners, especially when it comes to digital media, digital marketing, trying to figure out how to scale, they just don't have any type of strategy. Maybe they have the people that can implement it for them 
And I'm always more than happy, you know, if I'm not implementing it for you, I'm more than happy to write it and strategize with you so that you can achieve your goals faster. Um, because, you know, this year's flying by already. We're already in March. It's almost been a year since the original COVID-19 lockdowns. And I keep telling people, if you have a side hustle, if you have ever wanted to start a business, any type of e-commerce site, this is really the time. You don't have any more excuses, so you just need to go ahead and do it. So I'm more than happy to talk to you know anyone in the central Indiana area um, or even nationwide um, or internationally. Like I said, I work with clients on three separate continents. So always happy to chat all things strategy and marketing. <laughs> Fantastic. So Chloe, last question here. Tell me what's been most inspiring to you during all of this craziness of the past year? I think the big thing is really just seeing people supporting local and people supporting um, local nonprofits or local businesses when, um, you know, maybe our government can't necessarily help us right away. Um, I'm, I'm very much um, involved in, um, you know, central Indiana nonprofits. I try to volunteer whenever I have um, free time. And I think especially with the lockdowns almost a year ago, and then even seeing the really extreme weather um, that unfortunately a lot of my friends, family, um, and just other Americans in general have experienced in Texas, in, I mean, Indiana, we had 15 inches of snow in Louisiana. Um, just seeing people come together, I think that's a truly American thing, is just helping your neighbor whenever possible. Um, and I think in craziness that has been, you know, a general election and a pandemic and, you know, um, civil unrest, I think that's the one thing that's just been so inspiring is that um, you know, Americans are stronger than ever and they're willing to help one another. So if folks who are listening, um, you know, have any type of, uh, you know, nonprofit that they want to help with, um, I can always be a resource for that. Um, just to get people involved as, as, uh, important as, as it is in our world nowadays. Wonderful. Hey, Chloe, thank you so much for sharing your insights today. That uh, does conclude our interview. For those listening, if you heard something that you would, um, like to, to learn about more and take your business to the next level and implement that, uh, that strategy, please uh, take advantage of Chloe's offer for that uh, free uh, call. Uh, pick her brain, uh, you know, take, take advantage of that. You know, it doesn't come every day where, where folks are, are willing to, to sit down with you on, on a call and, and share with you insights and, and help you with your strategy. So please uh, reach out to Chloe and take advantage of that. If you've heard something during this uh, interview that maybe you're wrestling with in your business and, and there's areas that you need to pivot and, and, uh, and, and figure out in your business as well, I'm happy to, to also uh, have a chat with you and, and figure out uh, how to help take your business to the next level. So Chloe, it's been a, a pleasure uh, learning from you today and I wish you tremendous success in your business. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. You are very welcome. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye now.